What up, y'all? So, in today's video, we're gonna be going over uh, some existing prayer hands that I've already tattooed. We're just gonna add some of the background to it. All right, let's get started. started so as you guys can see I use seven caps the uh, the last two were full black so basically starting from the bottom to the top so my first cap is one drop of black the second cap is three drops of black the third cap is um, seven drops of black and then the fourth cup fourth cap Dude, I don't know why I always mess up. The fourth cap is 25%. The fifth cap is half black. And then the sixth cap is just full black. I use dynamic black. So, as you guys see, you know, we're starting the tattoo. And um, he wanted to get like a rose window in the background of the prayer hands. And I thought like an a angled one would be very cool for just for this kind of like situation. So, um. So, um, yeah, we wanted to put a little bit of smoke going through also, and you guys can see the prayer hands that I've done. It was basically some prayer hands with a rosary coming off, and, uh, let's see, and I'm using, actually right now I'm using the 7 mag, and for my liners, I'm going to be using the 5 liner and the 7 liner. And then for my shading mags, they're all curved mags. I'm gonna be using the seven mag, the 13 mag, the, I wanna say it was the 17 mag, and then I used like a 23 mag. But mainly, just for this session, it was, I did a lot of line work and then I went back in with a shader. And uh, like right here, I just make sure that I stretch out the skin good and they kind of take my time kind of like tattooing that part. This tattoo was actually really fun to do. Just all the different shapes that play into it. It was it was really fun to do. And I think you guys have seen, or if you've seen my videos, there was actually a video that I did where we did the prayer hands. So if you guys even want to go back and look on that one on how I did the prayer hands, I'm going to put the link in the description below. And then you can come back and then watch this one or watch that one first and then watch this one you know either way and you guys will see like uh kind of how like certain things heal and how i like to do it you'll see and then um so usually for like a background i kind of want to make it a little darker so the hands will pop out a little more this rose window was actually really fun to do Right now for the liner I'm using a five liner I usually go back and forth between five liners and seven liners but for this case I thought a five liner was was the right I didn't want it too thick you know and then more on the upper like I don't really need to uh, to stretch the skin out too much so like, you can kind of see like my hands kind of resting but I still try to try to stretch out the skin Right here, we're just doing, we're gonna be doing some smoke coming off of like in the inside of the rose window. And then, uh, usually, like for like towards the inner and darker parts of it, it was, I was using like the half cap of black. And then, like towards the bottom right there, you can kind of see. like more of the darkness right there but this this piece was really fun to do we're gonna keep adding on to it like down bottom where the rosary is we're gonna be adding some like a uh, some rays kind of coming off of it so it pronounces it a little more we're just kind of taking steps with this with this piece i think we're headed in the right direction And I know like when it 
fits more in here and it kind of hurts a little more. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna tattoo like this whole front side, just get it over with and then kind of work my way back. Then right here, I'm using the 13 mag. Just, you know, take my time, it's not a rush. Like, I wanna, I'm trying to think on how long this session took. I wanna say it took like six hours to do this session. And then more up top, I kind of just like faded it off. Cause like, if we keep adding, then I can start adding to it. I didn't just want to just like completely cut it off. And I'm using the, sometimes you'll see right here, like I'm shading with the fine liner. And I just kind of go like this. Like I don't try to really like get in there, unless it's solid black, but
about the half cap because I remember like going up here, I didn't want to make it too dark. Like, so this front part is was all like solid, all done. And then towards the back, because we're gonna add a dove going up there, I didn't want to make it too dark right now because I wanted to make sure, I always try to make sure I plan ahead for the next piece. So, so I kept it a little light in the back, but when he comes back, we're gonna be doing a dove, we're gonna be doing some rays coming off of the, uh, the cross and it's gonna look real nice. I'm really excited for it. And you can see, you can see right now. I'll just take my time. See, so now you guys can see the progress on all the shapes that I was doing and all that. Oh, a little, little, little step back right there. And then we did some smoke in the background. I mean, on the back too. Now we're starting the white. So for the white, I used the. Uh, I use a dynamic wipe and uh, I usually use like a seven power liner from Cheyenne. It's called a power liner because it's like, I think it's more tight, but it's not, uh, I don't know. I just use the seven power liner. One of my buddies was using the, that liner and he was like, you should use it. And I, from, that was like two years ago and I still use it. Putting in the whites with these kind of like rose windows, like it helps emphasize it a little bit. I don't know, I think the white does hurt a, a little, but uh, it makes the tattoo, like, like certain spots pop out. You don't always need to use white. I like using white with these kind of tattoos though. We just finished the video. Thank you for watching. Once again, 30,000 subscribers. That's crazy. Thank you guys for the love and support. And watch out and stay tuned for the next video. It's a huge announcement. Peace.